Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram and in this lecture we are going to learn, in this video we are going to learn about uh, the different techniques in retinoscopy like we will discuss about, we have actually discussed about uh, that what is actually the with movement, what is actually against movement uh, in retinoscopy. Specifically in this video we are going to learn, we are going to talk about the neutral point. You know very well that the light which is, which is actually coming from this retinoscope, if you can see this light, this is called the streak of the retinoscope, right? And what is the reflex of the retinoscope? The reflex, you can see the reflex when the examiner will observe from this peephole like this, right? And the light which is actually striking the cornea, the light which is actually striking the pupil is passing through the pupil and it's exactly refracting back from the retina. The light which is coming back after striking the retina is called the reflex, which you can observe inside the patient's pupil. So streak is the light which is actually, we are striking at the patient's face, we are striking at the patient's eye, or in certain level, we are striking inside the patient pupil. This is called the streak of the retinoscope, right? And what is actually the reflex? The reflex is actually we can only observe the reflex inside the patient's pupil and only examiner can observe that reflex. So what is actually with and against movement? Uh, I hope you already know about the with and against movement. So with movement is actually if you are moving your streak in this direction and reflex inside the pupil is moving in the same direction. Right? This is called the with movement. Right? And what is actually the against movement? Against movement is actually when you are moving your retinoscope in this direction and reflex inside the patient's pupil is moving in against direction, in opposite direction, that is called the against movement. And now essentially and importantly we are going to learn about, we are going to discuss about the neutral points. Right? So neutral point is very important when you are uh, dealing with the retinoscope, when you are dealing with uh, this test which is called the retinoscopy the neutral point is very 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 important if your neutral point is not fine it if your neutral point is not refined your gross and net retinoscopic values will be false will be incorrect right so you have to be very careful while you are dealing with the neutral point you have to be very careful while you are finding the neutral point neutral point should be very accurate always remember that neutral point varies patient to patient right so normally what is actually the neutral point for example patient visits your clinic you dilated the patient with cyclopentolate right uh, the age of the patient is under 15 you dilated the patient uh, and you see you observe that the patient's pupil is fully dilated and accommodation is fully relaxed right so now patient is fully prepared for the cycloplegic refraction right and you observe that at first sight when you on your retinoscopy and you see the reflex inside the patient's pupil you observe the with movement right and you know very well that we always neutralize with movement with the help of the plus spherical lenses right and we observe we neutralize uh, the against movement with the help of the minus spherical lenses right in plane mirror effect right so for example our patient is having with movement so we will neutralize the with movement with the help of the plus spherical lenses so to neutralize that with movement we will put plus spherical lenses before the patient's eye and we will gradually increase the plus power to neutralize that with movement right so when we increase the power from plus 0 0.25 to 0.5 then plus 1 then plus 1.5 then plus 2 and then plus 2.5 the thickness of the reflex is increasing is gradually incre increasing right as we are increasing the plus power the thickness of the reflex is increasing and remember suppose at if at plus 3 the pupil is fully glowing now the thickness of that reflex is fully glowing the whole pupil is glowing with the light with the reflex right so it could be your neutral point right so here the point is very important to learn to see 
if there is no any movement and the whole pupil is glowing with the reflex this could be your neutral point remember that number one there could be two types of the neutral points number one we are going to learn about the number one right neutral point number one and what is that that is if you are increasing the plus power because your patient has with movement right and to neutralize that with movement we have to increase the plus power and you are increasing the plus power gradually and slowly and at plus three your pupil is fully glowing right but there is no any movement when you are moving your streak left and right up and down there is no any movement there is no any with movement there is no any against movement right so that is that could be your neutral point this is one sign of the correct neutral point and the second one is because this is very important point to learn remember that if you start from with movement you observe with movement you increase the plus powers and at plus three the pupil was fully glowing but with the slight with movement you start from the with movement right and suppose at plus three the movement was still with right with fully glowing pupil right and when you move beyond the plus 3 for example you move from plus 3 to plus 3.25 now the movement at plus 3.25 is against so what is your what will be your neutral point you will come back to plus 3 right you will come back to plus 3 where the movement was slight with right so at plus 3 your pupil was fully glowing and there was a slight width movement so that will be your neutral point remember this is important point you start from the width you will end at the width movement right and for example you observed against movement inside the patient's pupil and now to neutralize that against movement right you will increase the minus spherical lenses and you are increasing minus spherical lenses gradually and slowly and for example at minus four there is no any movement and patient's pupil is fully glowing right so that will be your neutral point right that minus four will be your neutral points and number two if you gain against movement and you are increasing minus power to neutralize that uh, against movement at at minus four your pupil is fully glowing but when you're moving the streak left and right there is still slight against movement inside the patient's pupil and when you move from minus 4 to minus 4.25 the movement is now with you observe with movement at minus 4.25 now you will decrease the power you will come back to the minus 4 right and that minus 4 will be your neutral point where you observe the fully glowing pupil with slight against movement i hope you understand the lecture and at the end of this lecture i am leaving a question for you uh, how would you for example a patient visits your clinic and you instill the cyclopentolate inside the patient's pupil for cycloplegic refraction my question is how would you know that your patient is fully prepared for cycloplegic refraction how would you know that the accommodation of the patient is fully relaxed now and your patient is fully prepared is ready for the cycloplegic refraction. You can give your comments, you can give your answers in comment section.